week's workout of the week is a little bit different. If you did not know, one of our athletes, Dustin, competed at the Arnold last weekend. So today we're going to do a quick little recap of his meet. He competed at 148 of the XPCs on Friday. A little bit of backstory about Dustin. I met Dustin, I actually talked to him a little bit. We've been going back and forth on social media for a little bit before September because in September... Uh, he was actually doing the exact same meet that I was doing. We were going to be in the same weight class at 148. Quick little recap. He went for his very first attempt on squats that day and ended up injuring himself and had to pull out of the meet, um, which kind of allowed me to win the 148 class since there was only the two of us. So uh, thank you, Dustin. I appreciate that. But clearly he would have blown me out of the water because he, as you'll see here, he won 148 at the Arnold. Uh, which is pretty spectacular, and that's back-to-back -back wins for him. So that is incredible for him, and it's even more incredible how he went about and actually won that. So let's step through his actual lifts. Weigh-ins, he had to make 148 for his weight class, and actually weighed in two pounds under that. So his actual weight was 146. Very first squat attempt... Good. Absolute smoke show. 465. Went up like, like nothing. Just smoked it. Great start. Attempt number two. <laughs> 500 pounds. Are you kidding with me? Still moves super well. A uh, little bit of a sticky point. Little little bit of a fight there, but 500 moved. It never stopped moving. Third attempt. Let's go! Justin's up right now. Go, 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 go! go. Oh, stand up, stand up! Go! Yeah. That is a good... Really? 525 pounds like that? Uh, and the cool part about that, the part that you didn't see was that at XPC is they actually had an issue with their equipment. And all, uh, I, I believe it was the boards that actually said like how much time you have to lift and how much weight to load on the bar. That whole system went down. So I don't know, I don't know how many of you are in the powerlifting scene where you've actually been wrapped by someone else um, before you squatted. He had to stand in wraps on the stage for close to five minutes. What? I, I don't I don't even know how to put that into I, I don't even know how to put that into context for those of you who have not been wrapped before, especially at an elite level where it is literally cutting off circulation to your lower leg and he's gotta stand on the stage for five minutes wrapped both knees. Right now, going into this, he's got a total of five twenty five after squats sitting very well going into bench. So we actually didn't get any benching clips. And the reason for that was he took his opener at 250, I believe. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I should go check. Yes, it was 250. He took his opening attempt at 250 and actually injured his shoulder. He'd already been having some shoulder in injuries and issues before this meet. So he took his opener at 250 and skipped his second and third. So right there is a, for someone that is in a competitive bracket like him, that's a huge, I mean, that that's massive to leave some weight on the platform, especially on bench. If you were not at XPCs, the 148 class was extremely competitive going into, going into deadlifts, which is one of his stronger lifts. So I'm not going to try and explain this, but he intentionally missed his opening deadlift. Um, I'm going to leave a link down to a video that he actually recorded that goes into detail about the strategy behind this and why he did that. But if you're interested in that, go to the video. If not, know that he intentionally missed his opening deadlift. His opening deadlift was 520. So he missed that, didn't get that, goes into the second attempt. Good lift. Slaughter's 545 moved like nothing was on the bar. So he's sitting very well for deadlifts now, going into his third attempt. Pull 
Michael's 570. 570 doesn't even slow down for him. A little bit at the bottom, but honestly, he had so much more left in him. With that 570 pull, that gives him a meat total of 1345 at 146 pounds. He had a total of 1345 pounds. Pounds. Is that incredible? Like, if you're not impressed by that, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what I can do for you. But that is super impressive. Became back-to-back -back champ for Arnold of the 148 class, and I could not be happier for him. Absolutely annihilated it. Please, if you want to follow his journey, because he's already back training, and there are some really cool things that he's got coming, especially deadlift-wise. Uh, I don't know if I can say that yet or not. Um, I'll go ahead and say it. He's going for six, a 600 pound deadlift and judging by the way that 570 moved, he probably had 600 in him at that, but he needed to pull the 570 to win his class, which was more important than hitting a, a PR on the platform. So I think that he's easily got a 600 pull in him as we speak right now, which, which knowing Dustin means he's going to be aiming above and beyond that 600 for his next meet. So that's awesome. If you want to follow Dustin, his handles are right here for Instagram. There's our workout of the week. A little bit different because it's more of a, a recap of the meet instead of like an actual workout. But that's the cool thing about workout of the week is we can do whatever we want with it because it's ours. And I want to show his Arnold today because he's phenomenal. And at 146 pounds, he totaled 1345.